For weeks, the clothes inside Sloan Boutique sat untouched. Now the lights are back on and the store ready to welcome customers. We did kind of jump out as one of the first people to open, but again, it's we just wanted to see what would happen. Owner Ivy Costa says they've been hustling to make up for lost business, increasing online sales and doing home deliveries. She did receive a small business loan from the federal government, but is trying to bring her employees back to the store. I think safety is the first and foremost at the top of our minds, so we're requiring for everyone to wear masks when they come into shop. A sign on the door alerts customers to this new requirement before stepping inside. She's also limiting the numbers of customers at a time to four people and has adjusted the days and hours the store is open. It's a learning process and she says things could change. I think we'll go through this week and see how it goes. We might adjust our hours and days accordingly. Now there's a lot still closed along this stretch of Vine Street. Costa says she hopes that when restaurants are able to reopen on Friday, that's going to bring more foot traffic her way. And actually just today, there were no parking signs posted all along this stretch for when that does happen this Friday. Reporting live in OTR, Molly Lair, WLWT News 5. All right,